Another one bites the dust. <laughs> so loud. <laughs> another one bites the dust. And it's fine. Everything's fine. What's up, guys? Another it's Kate. The this is Date Fails. I don't know how to turn down the music. This is my first time using music. Look, look, we did it, Aaron. <laughs> Aaron's my producer. He's trying to teach me how to be more professional on the podcast because it's always a, a train wreck. So, hey guys. <laughs> but that's why people love you, Kate. Thank you. Yeah. It, it, they're, they're not tuning in for, all right, it's 25 <laughs> past the hour. It's time for the Kate Quickly Power Hour. We're coming here. We're going to be have a music. We're going to have calls. We're gonna, no, they, no, they tune in for the train wreck that is Kate Thank Quigley. Thank you. Yeah, there's really no Kate Quigley Power Hour ever anywhere in my life. There's no hour of power. It's mostly <laughs> hours of tears and tequila, as you guys. Tears? and tequila well if you ever do another podcast or a book that'll be the name that'll be the name of your book (laughs) tears Tears and tequila tequila. someone write that down quigley story that's a good idea actually Mm -hmm. guys uh today's episode of date fails is brought to you by spotify i'm actually so excited that the podcast is now on spotify because i get spotify premium and i've been emailing going when can i get my podcast on and now it's there uh date fails is available on spotify spotify is making it easy for you to stream this podcast and many others like it on your mobile device, desktop app, and smart speaker. Open the app on mobile or desktop, click on the browse channel, and then click on the podcast section. Take us with you wherever you go. Thank you, Spotify. I love that. That's so dope. Brad, are you on there yet? Uh, yes. We are. The About Last Night podcast is on Spotify, so yeah. you can look up uh, About Last Night there, and you can go back and listen to the episode we did with Kate Quigley. Oh, my God. That was fun. It I had a really good fun. time. Yeah. I, I, by the way, guys, my guest today is Brad Williams. Hello. Funny Brad on what? Funny Brad on Twitter? Twitter. Yeah, Brad Williams comic on Instagram. I should have the same name, but I'm lazy. I just don't want to switch it. I know. I don't want to switch mine because I've been wanting to switch it from Kate Q Funny to just like my name. When sure. I signed up for all the social media, my name was taken. Son of a bitch. And now what? it's Kate Q Funny. I know. How many Quigleys are there? Believe it or not, there's a lot of Kate Quigleys. <laughs> You're holding out on us. I know. And some of them are hot too. Like there was this one Kate Quigley who is so hot. I was like, how great would it be if she was my girlfriend and we had the same name? <laughs> Well, that, uh, oh, who? Matt Bumgarner. No, Madison. Madison Bumgarner, the pitcher of the San Francisco Giants. Yeah, my wife just threw out a baseball name. What's up? Um, That's a guy? Yeah. Madison is his name? Madison Bumgarner. But he dated a woman whose name was Madison Bumgarner. Shut up. They had the same name. How the fuck does that happen? I like to think he just does it so he thinks he's fucking himself. He can go, yeah, Madison. Yeah, you're doing good. Oh, my God. By the way, the woman's Can't tell you're on roids. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, shut up. <laughs> the woman's voice you're hearing, by the way, is Brad's wife, yes. Jasmine, who I am so excited. I didn't know she was going to come. Jasmine and I are friends. Yeah. And for a while, we couldn't really like do something like this because you had a job that kind of prevented. Yeah. I worked with kids. This. And, you know, when you work with kids, you don't want them to look up your name or have their family find you on Facebook and be like, oh, she's in porn. That's fun. And she's yeah. providing therapy and to that, my little children. But that's where we met, is porn. Yeah, uh, kind yeah. of, right? <laughs> I mean, not too don't, far off. sorry, mom. <laughs> I tell your guy's story yeah. as like, I mean, your guy's story is one of those romances that just never happens. It's Aww, sort of a modern thanks. romance, very modern sort romance. Of? Yeah, uh, no, my grandparents they... did not meet on a threesome app, so. <laughs> <laughs> no? Yeah. I guess yeah. it couldn't Mine? exist. Yeah. 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 We met, uh, we met on a threesome app. We, it, it used to be called Thrinder, then Tinder sued them because it's too close to their name. Uh, so now it's called Field and, uh, we were on there and, uh, we, we met and we got the feels. Yeah. We got feels after the first date. We're like, oh man, we were hoping for like a wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Moving on. And then it's like, ah, yeah. I like this one. Legitimately, That's- after the second date, crying to my best friend. Because I'm like, I don't know what to do. I might sleep with him, but I might feel too many things. And I don't know. And is it okay? Is it not okay? I'm so messed up. I love that you were scared to sleep with him because that's how I get. But you seem so together to me. Oh, well, it's, I guess, I don't know. It's not, it was, it was more like I wasn't ready for something serious because I was on a threesome app. So I was obviously like going through a weird time. Yeah. <laughs> Does that really mean you can't? I feel like I'm into weird stuff, but I also want a boyfriend. Maybe that's my problem. You know what? That's <laughs> well, but that's uh, and normally I would not give this advice, but I mean that just kind of worked out for us where we found the the, the partner doing the weird stuff. Yeah. Right? So you know that the other person is also into weird stuff, so you don't have to spring that on them on the uh, after six months of dating. You're like, okay. 
Now that, now that we're a thing, I got to let you know what I'm into. <laughs> uh, do you have a clown costume? How do you feel about balloons? That's um, a good point. Do you know about pegging? Like, uh, yeah, there, there's <laughs> there's things that you need to bring up early yeah. so you don't scare the person off later. Yeah, and I mean, talk about date fails, doing the exact same thing, going on the exact same app, finding the exact same guys. Like, I feel so many of my friends, you know, they have that same person that they find and then they cry about and they complain about and then go out and they date another one just like them she's talking about me no i'm not i'm totally not (laughs) but it's like it's being able to just be brave and be like hey i'm just gonna try this thing out and maybe i'm dating maybe i'm not but i'm gonna do something Mm -hmm. different just to stir shit up because am i allowed to cuss yeah sorry am i allowed to cuss yes you can okay but yeah just you know going out there and doing something different because like nobody goes on a threesome app to be like hey life partner yeah, that's a good point. Let's find out why you're on there. Yeah. You know something I never asked you, though, that I just thought of before so, you guys met? Mm-hmm. Did you have, either of you, did you have a lot of threesomes off that app? Like, how was it? Uh, my wife was the first person I matched with on the app. No way. Yeah. So I I, I have a couple of stories from my past, uh, where, but that but that was more of an organic kind of thing. It, yeah. didn't, it wasn't like, okay, uh, you are 15 miles away that way. You are seven miles away that way. Let's uh, meet at the hotel that's halfway between us both and break. Like, the, like that wasn't what was going on. And, uh, and in terms of my wife's past, uh, she was a virgin before she met me. So <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for the safe word when I start talking. Yeah. Because I know that Brad doesn't want to know too much. But um, <laughs> I would say that as a unicorn, you're much more successful on the app. Right, you want to be the guest star, is what you're saying? Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and for those of you who don't know, slang uh, unicorn is a slang term for uh, a single female, no commitments. You're just there for fun. Yeah, and specifically willing to just come in and then leave and not contact them again. Yeah, that's the most important if thing. If you choose. That you just take off and you're not like, oh, so we did this thing. Now let's all hang out. Now let's all be friends. Like, no, no, no. peace out. Bye. Yeah, that's definitely the way to do it, I think, if you're going to. Yeah. Although I'm totally into the idea of taking a guy that I'm, like, with mm-hmm. to, like, a party where yeah. we would hook up with a stranger. Yeah. Mm. You know, as long as it's not someone they're going to keep talking <laughs> to. So I'm part of this super ratchet group on Facebook. And what they do is they post all these confessions all the time from this anonymous app. And so somebody posted recently, like, yeah, me and my boyfriend, we tried, you know, you know, the devil's threesome, and we found out we really like it, and, you know, I did a count, and over the past year, I've slept with 10 married men, and I'm like, why are they married? <laughs> if you're doing threesomes, why are you ruining lives? Wait, what's a devil's threesome? Is that two, two guys? guys? Two guys. Oh, yeah. I've never done that. You, Neither have you I, it seems quickly. gross. You're so surprised. That. Yeah, I'm like... <laughs> I, I, I just figure it would happen between like two guys that are uh, that are kind of uh, trying to split you in half like Sha- like Charlemagne Eiffel don't- Tower. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. Yeah, don't know if that's the right reference, but uh, yeah, like like they like they they, they can't decide who gets Kate Quigley. So uh, I guess we'll both get Kate Quigley. I love you. Guys are always <laughs> shocked when I tell them like. I don't know why guys are always so surprised. I've never had a threesome with two guys. Like every guy imagines that I'm just mm-hmm. out there like with two dicks in my hand, but like, I'm, I'm not. You're not. You're not I mean, going not out there. <laughs> yeah. Not. You're not going out there like a trained seal playing the horns. Just. Mm, 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 mm. No, no, no. But you know what? I'm not going to lie. I have thought about it. There is a guy I slept with. Mm-hmm. And then I didn't know he was friends with this other guy. And then mm-hmm. down the road, I slept with the other guy. And then I found out they were friends. And then I heard. Eskimo brothers. Is that? (laughs) Yeah. I love you guys with all the terms. (laughs) Sure. But then I didn't, uh, I found out later that Mm -hmm. they have threesomes with chicks. Like they do it. Okay. So it wouldn't even be like you would be like sleeping with two new guys. Right. You wouldn't be adding to your total. No. You'd just be going like, all right, I've, I've, we've already done it. At, so exactly. why not? And it was good with both. And that you seems know, like the way to go. I know. I kind of feel like setting it up. It just seems like a lot of work. They're always in different cities and stuff. I'd have to plan it out. <laughs> well, and the sex alone seems like a lot of work. Two penises? Uh, here's the thing about that. For me, I don't know about other girls. When I have the fantasy of this, like the guys are totally catering to me. Like yeah. it's all about me. Well, that's well, that's every guy too. When every guy fantasizes about having a threesome with two women, we always think it's going to be like the porn where 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 the girls are just fighting over it, going, "It's my cock." No, it's my <laughs> cock. Isn't that how it is? Nope. Really? Uh, most of the guys, most times that I've 
had uh, that thing happen, it's the it's the two girls that are definitely way more into each other and like, oh, pff, yeah, I guess the guy's oh, he's here, here too. too. <laughs> I guess <laughs> if he has to be here, sure. That's hilarious. Mm. I don't know because I get more turned on by like pleasing the guy, to mm -hmm. be honest. But in this fantasy, no, the guys oh. love me. Uh, there's two. There's two dudes there. They, yeah. And by the way, they should be catering to you uh, because if they're catering to each other, now you're not very necessary. That's a good point. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's a good point. They probably are catering to you in that in that scenario because I, hope so. I mean, un unless there's those kind of guys where they're like. Hey, so when the girl leaves, we just keep this going? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want that. I, no. I, don't, I don't even. I kind of no. want the guys that will just queue up and be like, hey, so you take your time, and when you're finished, you know, just mop it up real good, and I'll come in there, and I'll, I'll, I'll give that second round real good. You want them to queue up? Yeah, That's no. That's hilarious. I don't know. Can you, can you imagine? I'm trying to blow this guy. I've got a certain rhythm, and this guy is behind me just slamming away. Like, how am I supposed to get the rhythm? I'm knocking my teeth on stuff. Yeah, that's stop. a good point. I We've hate... had this conversation, yeah. like, nightly. Really? No. no. <laughs> oh, God, no. God, no. I feel like I'm going to bring up something you've never talked about. <laughs> Probably. Um, Almost. Do, are you guys still – someone messaged me this question said, ask mm -hmm. Brad if he's still doing – are they still doing threesomes now that they're married? I mean, we're not, uh, we're not opposed to it. So, so. <laughs> if it comes up, is yeah. that the way you're doing it? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, when we were dating, it was more sort of actively seeking it out. Uh, now it's just kind of like, but we, now, like, we just bought a house and You're we busy. got, we're busy. Yeah. We got a, a lot of stuff going on. So we're, I, I can't take so much time. And uh, w whenever we do that kind of thing, she's pretty much in charge of making that happen. I don't want to be the guy that comes home and's like, and behind curtain number one, we have a blonde, gorgeous, does not <laughs> like uh, any strings attached. Over behind curtain number two, brunette, a little freaky, tattoos, has done quite a Ooh. few ayahuasca trips. Like, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be that guy. So I just kind of have to wait until uh, she is comfortable before the house is kind of settled and now we don't have so many balls in the air, literally and figuratively, uh, that we... That we're all that we're both in a right mindset for that kind of thing. To that makes sense. Yeah, but by the way, I just answered the question without asking my wife's opinion on <laughs> three ways. Did I kind of get that right? Did I? Um, yeah, I would say that I prefer a stable outside life, both professionally and um, personally, before I add any kind of chaos into it, because I prefer the kind of chaos I can control. You know, Brad and I were talking yeah. about it, and you know, like the girls that I'm attracted to are the kinds that that I can. I can make regret life decisions, you know? Like, I kind of want to ruin them. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I'm sorry. Too much too, too no, honest? No, I love it. What do you mean you want to ruin them? She Explain. Wants, so she I, wants the oh, I can do girl. it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you want to corrupt them. Yes. Yeah. I want the girl that's like, oh, I think I'm kind of into girls, but I've never really tried. And I'm like, oh, you've never tried? Don't tell your grandmother. <laughs> like I get those girls coming after me. I, I totally know what you mean. Yeah. I always get those because I'm like by curious, but mm -hmm. I'm but well now I've hooked up with girls, but for a mm -hmm. while I was just curious and I could tell I was like the challenge. Yeah. yeah. It still happens. I get hit on by more women than men. I swear Lucky. To God. You know at the improv the other night, a girl <laughs> yeah. tried to hook up with me in the improv bathroom. Well done. I know, and she was kind of hot too. And you didn't do it just for the story? <sighs> no, I didn't do it. Uh, and I okay. should have actually. Well, yeah. Just in the bathroom, that. gross. What? Is it? <laughs> I th oh, sorry, just me. <laughs> I like hooking up in public places. Are you guys into that? Public places are mm -hmm. fine, but not where people shit. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not gonna do it on the toilet. I was thinking more like in the handicap stall where there's space. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like up against the door. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Although it's a chick. So. While the handicap guy's taking a shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's just like watching you going like i wish i could join yeah, can you write that, that off on your taxes sure Does that count as charity absolutely that's hilarious i think it should, <laughs> that, think it should be. that that would be a charity that i would definitely uh donate donate money to where it's just like hey these handicapped people they don't have a lot of sex so uh you, you don't have sex with the person but it's just live sex shows we 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 donate yeah your time shut up yeah just in 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 front of these brave souls. Their kink oh is voyeurism. Sure. And you know, we'd really like it if you'd give them something to watch. That's, That's a great idea. We <laughs> should start that up. That could be our not-for-profit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could get out of my audit somehow if I did that. Perfect. Um, I'm pulling up some questions because I, okay. I got a whole bunch of really good questions. Oh, this is a great one. Okay. Okay. So this guy is flirting with this chick, right? He meets this girl. He's with a bunch of buddies in Vegas. He meets this hot chick. They're hanging out all night flirting. Mm -hmm. They all go back to the suite. They got like one of those mansion suites sure. like at the MGM, right? So basically... 
this dude goes upstairs to like, I don't know what he's doing, shower, rinse off, whatever. He goes upstairs to the bathroom. He said he comes back down and one of the other guys has totally moved in on the chick and they're hooking up. So he says, to me, this guy is like no longer a friend. Like you can't steal the girl that I've been trying mm -hmm. to hook up with all yeah. night, whatever. What yeah. do you think? That's, yeah, that's kind of bro code uh, where it's like, dude, it, it's like, okay, if I saw my friend playing on a slot machine for three hours and not hitting and then he walked away to go to the bathroom or he was like, hey, watch my machine and I'm, I'm going to go get a drink and I put in one quarter and it hit. I'd be like, all right, I got to give him some dough. Yeah, you got to at least like split it with yeah, him, right? Yeah, I can't be that dude. Yeah. Like that was his machine. That's what I think. So yeah, like I don't think you, I don't think you move in. Uh, I don't know if it's a uh, it ruins the friendship, but it's definitely like, all right, well, I can't trust you with for for a while. I, I think crazy. it, yeah, I think it warrants a conversation of like, dude, did you notice I was hitting on this chick? Because it's completely possible he didn't notice because his friend was just staring at her tits the whole time. You know what I mean? Maybe, but if this guy it's was possible. loading her with drinks and stuff on it, I don't know. Yeah, it's, I, it's, it's wrong. Weird. And yeah. the other guy definitely needs to explain himself, but I think he should have the opportunity to explain himself before you write him off completely. Because maybe maybe this guy is like your coat connection. Or maybe this guy is, <laughs> yeah. you know. Guy is your coat connection. May, yeah, You're maybe, right. maybe you he's your hookup. Yeah. Or, and, and also, maybe his story is, dude, as soon as you left, the girl looked at me and went, Get this creep guy away from me. I am not feeling him. I've been feeling you. I was trying to talk to him to get to you the whole night. You don't know the situation. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. That could be. Because, I mean, hell, maybe she was doing the move that a lot that a lot of guys do where the guy goes, okay, I really like that hot girl, but I'm going to talk to her ugly friend, and then, and then, and then I'm going to make the transition. So maybe she was doing that, but with dudes. I don't know. Yeah, and I mean... You know, so you gotta... it's fucked up. It's wrong, but have a conversation about it. I'm trying to think if I've ever done anything like that, where I've been in a group and I'm like flirting with one guy, but wishing another guy would talk to me. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait, no, sorry. I, I think <laughs> no. I, I think I have. Yeah, I think I have actually, but I don't think I would go so far as to go like back to a hotel. Right. Maybe. <laughs> I've I've had it before where I was flirting with the hot friend and the hot friend was like whatever and then his not his hot friend was like hey can I have your email address and I was like well there's no harm in hedging your bets email address <laughs> who asked for email she's from San, San Francisco yeah she's from San Francisco email what? address is way more <laughs> it's like oh like yeah like San Francisco they'll say something like uh, hit me up on LinkedIn well this this <laughs> was the same guy this is the same guy I've told you this story before Kate and I'm sorry Brad That's but fine. this was the same guy where like la, before la, la. anything happened he was like i just i just need you to know i'm i'm not i'm not so so big down there and i'm like i'm half naked in your bed like are you talking me out of this he warned you in advance like like right before i was about to take off his pants and i'm like dude i'm i'm right here like yeah that's a weird time what are you we've gonna been do making out for like 45 minutes like mm. what do you want from me also even if it if it is what are you gonna you would be the biggest bitch on the planet if you're like yeah. oh really cool i'm gonna leave like you gonna leave but thanks was, for the heads up right Peace. <laughs> have, have you ever had i mean what's the guy equivalent like there was a guy i forgot about this i've never told this on here there was mm. a guy that i was flirting with Okay. For at least two years. And mm -hmm. we never hooked up because he had a girlfriend. But he is hot as fuck. Like, one of the hottest guys I've ever seen. And then him and his girlfriend broke up. Mm -hmm. And we were out one night. And we started making out. But I was afraid to sleep with them just because him and this girl have broken up many times. Okay. So mm -hmm. I'm like, if I fuck him, yeah. they're going to get back together. And we're right. friends. So yeah. I don't want to make it weird. But the right? window is closing. Mm -hmm. I know. And I was so curious, Stay right? on target. So mm -hmm. we didn't hook up that night, but mm -hmm. we hung out like three or four nights in a row. Like you could tell we were like trying to fast track the like, yeah. it's okay to like, hook up. Okay, like, we've so hung out enough. let's get the three <laughs> dates out of the way. Let's go. Let's go. More or less, yeah. So if we get ice cream after dinner, that's like two dates, right? All right, all right. And then coffee yeah. and then breakfast. And yeah. that's right there. Done. Yeah. Done. You change locations. You're sure. good. So. So anyway, we have all this like tension building up and we keep making out. And then finally, I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to go home with him. I'm mm -hmm. dying to fuck this guy. And I go home with him and he goes down on me. It's so hot. He gets me off like four or five times before he even takes his dick out. Right. Well mm -hmm. Yeah. And then he takes his dick out. Oh, my God. So disappointing. Oh. And I'm not a size queen by any yeah. means. Like, I'm fine with small. Yeah. But. It was like so small. I mean, I could like barely feel it. But he was small. such a nice man. Yeah. He did, like he did it the right way. He where did. it's like, I know what I'm packing. Yeah. So let's give it to her real good. 
Like yeah. that was really polite of him. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. Like he definitely did the job, you right. know, but it was just such a bummer because I mean, in some ways I was actually glad because him and his girl did end up getting back together. And if did. we would have had like catastrophic sex, I would have yeah. been a lot more disappointed. So mm -hmm. at least the sex was just so, so, Okay. <laughs> you know, so I, I wasn't sad about it, but oh, every time I see him, cause I still see him and every time yeah. I see him now, I'm like, Oh, oh it's just when day. a guy's that hot. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. small. <laughs> That's yeah. I, I, I could see how that would be, how that would be a problem. And it, it, it's weird. It's like, you know, you you just know that secret about him, and maybe like that's why that's why he's so giving. That's why he's such a great guy. You're probably like, right. Yeah. Yeah, and all my girlfriends think he's so hot, and they always are like, "Oh my god, he's so hot!" And I just bite my tongue. You know what I mean? I would do yeah. horrible <laughs> things to not a lot of him. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But what is like the girl equivalent of mm -hmm. like uh, having a small dick? Oh, ooh, jeez. Oh, so like so like as a guy, like we don't see it. And then it's something that we see, like, as you get undressed. Is that kind of what you're asking? Yeah, like, what is something that, yeah, like, for me, with him, it was, like, such a, like, it was a letdown. Yeah. You know, what would be, like, the girl equivalent, you well, think? Well, I, 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 think, I, I think the closest thing to an equivalent to that would, would be either, A, like, they stuff their bra, you know, or, like, it, it's a crazy great bra, and then you... Because I've definitely had one of those where it's like, oh my god, I'm get, I'm getting me some double D's, and then it's like, wow, you you put uh, you put a collection of things, <laughs> you put two tissue boxes in that damn bra. False advertising. Yeah, like it, like it, like it's a it. Oh, mm. it was the trend yeah. for a while that yeah. had two adds two cup sizes. Oh my yeah. god, Remember that's those? right. Yeah. Also, did you see there was these? There was like an implant. It wasn't even an implant. There was this thing going on where you could get basically say you want to get your boobs done and mm -hmm. you're thinking of going up like a cup size. You could go in and get filler in your tits. They would put a syringe in and they would pump it full of I forget mm. what it was. It's it wasn't like, saline. It's like Botox like water, for your boobs. Some kind of. Kinda. Well, yeah, not Botox, Something easily whatever. absorbed, so it's yeah. like uh, yeah. temporary. And it would wear off in like three or four days. <gasps> so imagine we'll if trial like. run. Yeah, but imagine if you took a girl home and she had that and it happened to be like day four and it was like. The next up. day. Yeah, and she wah, wakes up in the wah, morning with wah. you and you're like, wait a minute. It's like, it goes wow. from your tits to mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cinderella, it's like, truck midnight. Exactly. Come on. But I feel like guys don't really care. You I'm, know what? I feel like I feel like it's also like the the makeup trend that's going on right now because I've definitely had a bunch of guys Ooh, who yeah. they have that like they 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 see her in the dark and she's so hot and they have sex with her and in the morning they wake up and her face is on her pillow and they're like who are you the contour yeah it's all the contour well and it's it's funny because uh my wife uh watches uh, rupaul's drag race mm -hmm. so now i know about contouring i'm like oh you took like a hood rat dude and made him a the sexiest woman i've ever seen in my life right like what the hell it's crazy you to go from jamal to janet yo it's people need to go on instagram and watch the makeup tutorials do you ever yes. watch them yeah uh i i've seen like I've seen like dark black men turn their face into literally Kim Kardashian. Shut up. Like yeah. literally where it's like, I, so jealous. I can't tell. I want to have a drag queen friend who always does my makeup like oh. every day. That's like my dream. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. It, it, it's uh, like even uh, I don't watch the show, but you know, when your partner watches something, you're like, all right, I'll sit down or I just kind of whatever. And I've gotten to be quite impressed. I'm like, that's like. Not into it, but damn, skill. It's amazing. Game. Like I like I gotta recognize game. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> honestly unbelievable. But what's funny is guys always say they like chicks with no makeup. But then whenever I have like a shitload of makeup on because I came from a shoot or something, yeah. guys are always like, Oh my god, you should do this all the time. Like they mm -hmm. love it. You know what you know what it, it, at least this is what it is for me, and I think this is what it is for a lot of guys where uh we like no we we, we like no makeup most of the time. Like we don't want you to be all glammed out all, all the, the time. time. We don't. Yeah. We, we we don't want that. We want it to be like okay, it's a special occasion. I want you to be able to be like okay, now I'm gonna glam it up, and then we'll be like oh my god, that's like 
wow, you, you've done so much, but you're naturally beautiful. But, yeah. oh, wow, now it's like you really kicked it up a notch because it's a special occasion. It, for it, it, It's like a guy wearing a tuxedo. Like, do you want the guy? Like, yeah, the guy might look really good in a tuxedo, but you, you don't want him, want him in a tux all the time. No, hell no. No, you don't want to be like shopping at the grocery store in a tuxedo. You don't want to be riding the bus in a tux. Yeah, that's a really good that. point. I so, definitely don't want that. Yeah, so it's kind of like that. Where yes, you look great with makeup on, but we want we we want that to be a special occasion, and also we don't want the girl that has all the makeup on all the time because that means she has to be putting it on all the time. Exactly, and that takes time. I agree with that. So there's no like. Hey, so and so just called me. We got it. He's got concert tickets. Let's go. Uh, the concert's in an hour. Can't make it because I gotta, you know, put all this shit on my face. That's actually really true. But that's mm. also my pet peeve with guys hitting you up last minute for things because guys don't realize <laughs> how much time it takes. If a guy hits me up last minute, mm -hmm. if, say it's for sex, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a thing about being sex ready. I talk about this <laughs> on here sometimes. Like, I think as a woman, I try to always be sex ready. Mm -hmm. Well, two reasons. Because mm -hmm. one, I don't ever want to have to turn down. Like sometimes you have a couple of drinks and then you're horny and then maybe somebody hot is trying to take you home, whatever. Yeah, and you're mm -hmm. like, oh crap, I didn't shave my legs. Yeah, you don't want to have to, <laughs> exactly. You don't want to have to say no for something like that. Get this. The other night, this wasn't actually that long ago, maybe like three, four weeks ago. I'm out with my friend, Jessica. I forget who was hitting me up to hook up. Mm -hmm. I was really, really horny. Mm -hmm. I was trying to get over this dude right. still so, so i'm basically tom, tom hanks is hitting you up yeah tom hanks hit me <laughs> up and i was like man i gotta i gotta hook up because mm -hmm. you know the more i hook up with somebody else the more it's gonna make me feel over mm -hmm. it that's my theory it doesn't work but it's fine <laughs> so i'm like i gotta shave i didn't mm -hmm. shave i'm always sex ready this was yeah. the one time i was like you know what i'm not gonna fuck probably like i'm just gonna skip mm -hmm. shaving i'm gonna rush so i made her stop at the Rite Aid on Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> I went in and bought razors. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to this guy's house. His house is like 10 minutes from the Rite Aid. Mm -hmm. I bought razors and lotion and a bottle of water. And I'm trying to like shave my legs in her car on the way to this guy's house in 10 minutes with like lotion and water. First of all, wow. you got you got a damn good friend that is letting you do that. Yeah. Because I would be like, oh, hell no. <laughs> her you better car's buy a not towel. that nice. Yeah. I know. I should have like bought wax or something quicker, you know? Nair yeah. Or yeah. Something. Yeah. You should have seen in the car it was a disaster oh my god yeah and then i was trying to only shave like i was in such a hurry i was like i'll just shave the parts he might touch you know what i mean like i wasn't even trying to shave like the whole it was you shaved handprints into your leg like okay put your hand there and there yeah but then the best part is i cut myself like three or four times because i'm in a hurry so now yep. i'm like bleeding so now i'm like there's gonna be blood and i'm wearing like light jeans so now i have like blood stains that just makes it better what i mean no that's Bad. Yeah, mm. but then I didn't end up fucking him. That's the depressing part of the oh. story. I, I got there and then we were hanging for a while and then I just kind of was like, this is a bad idea. I shouldn't do it. And I didn't. So it was a total waste. Well, and it was expensive. I yeah. will say this. Uh, one of the one of the uh, pros about being married is you kind of stop caring about all that kind of thing. Not that you don't do it anymore. Right. Not that you don't have the upkeep, not that you're not sex ready, but then it, it it's more like, oh, you're not sex ready, but... Uh, but it's happening right now. Okay, whatever. Yeah, well, that's that's something I was kind of wondering. Like, I mean, so I'm obsessive about it, but mm -hmm. I think that I have better sex. I feel like if you are really clean and taken care of and stuff, you're more confident. So mm -hmm. then confidence, don't you think you have the best sex when you feel the most confident in your body and stuff? Like I do, at least. Or do you feel like it doesn't matter? I don't know. The sex is pretty good. It's just good all the time yeah. for you? Yeah. I just feel like a lot of... <laughs> Tripod bats a thousand. What can I say? <laughs> Tripod. Oh my God. Your joke about being able to fuck doggy style standing yeah. up is still my favorite. I, it's true though. It's true. I kind of want to fuck a dwarf. I mean, I I'm kind of thinking about it. I got. Do you know one? I got, yes. I got my buddy laid at a show the other right. night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't say his name. Uh, I'm not going to because I don't remember it. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, like, <laughs> but like, my friend came out, uh, uh, my friend who is also a little person. Came out, came out to a show. He had just matched with a girl on some app like that day. Oh, wow. And apparently this girl was really into dwarves. No way. Because he's like, hey, my buddy Brad Williams is doing a show. And then she was all in. 
once she found out that she, that she could go see my show, she was like, oh, all in. Wait, when you say she's really into dwarfs, yeah. like she's been with more than one dwarf or she just has like a thing she wants to try it? I, I mean, think she know? really wanted to try it. I don't know if it was like a scavenger hunt and it was like that night it had to happen. But she was actually part of a bachelorette party. Yeah, she so was like fuck a dwarf. Yeah, she was really into it. Like, wow, that's a, you guys really stepped your game up from like, oh, find something that some find something with a penis drawn on it. Uh, so yeah, he come he comes to the show and I see him because he's in the front row. So then I so then I talk to him and I find out I find out it's a date. Find out it's the first date. Find out that like it's going well, but she's like not quite sure if it's gonna happen tonight. So then I go into that joke where I explain why you have to have sex with a dwarf yeah. and why it's so I good. I love when you say treat yourself. Yeah, treat yourself. <laughs> Do it. Make it happen for yourself. Oh. And then, and uh, yeah, so then that night, like, I checked up on him, and yeah, he got laid that night. So that yes. that is my stat. Oh, that was yeah. my assist. Oh, I yes. love that assist. I appreciate it. And you're welcome, buddy. And it, it was so funny because after the show, he comes by to say hi to Brad. And she's like sitting there and she's kind of gushing and whatever. And you just see him on the other side pulling her hand like, oh, no, no, we need to, we need to, let's, let's go. We can, we can go. Do you can go. Shh. Like, he was afraid he was going to lose her to you. Is well, that what happened? No, not to me. Because as a man, you know that when you're on a date, when you're out with a woman, once she gives you that sign of like, oh, she's. She's, She's down. You get the fuck out of there. Go. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Don't think that that's going to like, <laughs> oh, no, we're going to hang out for two more hours. We're going to have a couple more drinks. No. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't yeah. let it pass. That's not. That may not work out for you. A, a, a friend is going to text her. An ex-boyfriend is going to text her. Her Something's going to happen to get her mind not in that position anymore and now you're and now you're screwed not literally oh my god that's yeah. hilarious so once so once you get like the oh this is happening go do it make sure that happens has, has this ever happened to you brad did it but hmm? did what did, did what? that where it was like it was like our third date and <laughs> i like we we went to this really fancy restaurant and it was really nice and it was really romantic and cute and um, I have what? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah with how'd all, you know? Yeah, with, yeah. All huh? the, with all the Rudy Tooties, Freshes, and Ooh, Fruities. I like that. Yeah. It was good. Well, I just know IHOP is a step up from sure. the usual yeah. <laughs> In N Out Burger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But so, like, we we were eating, we were finished, and I he I said something about, like, oh, you know, if you want, you can go back to my place. And he was like, check, please. Yep. No, that's <laughs> hilarious. To me, that, yeah, Black to, Uber, like, let's go. Yeah, because to me, that was like the, oh, this is happening. Okay. Um, yeah, I called the Uber. It's going to be here in five minutes. Uh, Do not good. wait. I, I just like threw down cash on the table, and the, and, the, and the waiter comes by, like, Do you want me to bring change? I'm like, no, no, keep it. Like, wow, it's a $30 <laughs> tip. I don't give a fuck. That's hilarious. Go. What did you guys done before? Like, did you guys go base to base, or was it like kiss to fuck? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no. Kiss to fuck. Um, uh, that's gonna be uh, Gene Simmons. Kiss to, <laughs> kiss to fuck. <laughs> I just that's wonder because I'm not much of like a base person. Like I find that I go like there's make out date, make out date, make out date. But once your dick is out, it's gonna end up sex. <laughs> like there's no, there's never the date for me I'm where I'm sure like I happened. just blew him. Yeah. Unless I'm on my period the first time I blow you. That's the only <laughs> reason that yeah. happens. I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that was us. Um, yeah, we had like two dates where we made out. Brad yep. copped a feel, but yeah. like, there's it's never been like a base thing for me. Like, I've yeah. never been like, oh, I'm sorry, we haven't done the oral sex, so right? We can't do the regular sex yet. Like, it's mm. not like, no, I'm do not a think, Disney princess. Do you think it's weird as a grown up to kind of be like, I'm gonna stop? I just feel like once you've blown them, what, what difference does it make? Yeah. Isn't it all the same? Yeah, it's like, oh, it's like, uh, I, I don't know what's the difference. Does that somehow make you a classier person? Because you're like, well, I've only had her genitalia in my mouth. God is watching. I yeah, I haven't done it. Or if you're like, what, you do the Mormon thing where it's like. Only in we, the butt. Yeah, we <laughs> anal, so it's not real sex. So I'm technically still a virgin. It's like, that, that, you're adults. And you find that out, like, as you get older. Like, there's some, there, there's stigmas about it when you're younger. Like, oh, I don't want to appear that I'm too eager or appear that I'm easy or whatever. But then you get older, you're like, oh, fuck God. It's like it, it, it's the same reason why, as an adult, you you can order dessert first. Like mm -hmm. you don't you don't have to order it last. You don't have to not have a cookie. You just, yeah. you, just you just have it. But yeah. at the same time, do what you're most comfortable with and make sure you have consent. Like don't <laughs> stick his penis in your mouth if he's like, no, 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 I'm not ready. Yeah, because that happens all the time. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't want to put it on the girl. So mm. many guys turn that down. Sure. It's crazy. All the time. Um. 
I have to tell you guys, because I haven't told you. This is great. I get to tell you on the air instead cool. of. Um, I'm engaged. Um, right. I'm kidding. Figures. No. So, okay. Again. I had the craziest mm -hmm. sexual experience. Well, I had two. Okay. So I've been fucking like a man. This is what I was telling you before the podcast. Mm -hmm. You know, I get obsessed with guys. Yeah. When I fall for a guy that doesn't want me, I can't stop. I mm -hmm. can't stop fucking him. Mm -hmm. So I've had that problem recently mm -hmm. with one person. Mm -hmm. But finally, what happened is I decided I never do this. I never hook up. And like, I, I want to hook up without feelings and I want to hook up with guys I don't know that well or yeah. whatever and Fucking have check a it. guy that's just a booty call. Yeah. But I find for me, they don't usually last long. If I don't like them, I get bored, whatever. Mm -hmm. But lately I've been actually making an effort to have sex with guys I don't like <laughs> to keep myself from fucking the guy that I do like. And nice. it's working. Oh, okay. Like, oh, okay. So you're having sex with with guys that you know you don't like. Well, I know and I won't date. You're not gonna fall for. I won't date. It. Right. Yeah. And you're like, okay, but I'm gonna have sex with you because I won't have feelings. Correct. Yeah. So that's, there's that's two. That's very healthy, and men do that all the all time. All the time. All right. The time. But yeah. here's the thing. So this has never happened to me before. There was one guy, so hot, so mm. fucking hot. Mm -hmm. I had the best sex of my life with this guy the first time we had sex. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's rare. So he was in town. I know. It was crazy. <laughs> I think, well, whatever. Who knows why? But he was in town uh, again. He doesn't live here. Mm -hmm. And I hit him up like ordering a pizza. Yes. It was like 2 a.m. I was horny. Throw some I, Trojans on that shit. Right? <laughs> yeah. I just text him. I go, where are you? And he's like, I'm in Pasadena or whatever. I'm like, get an Uber and come to my house. He was like, come here. I was like, go fuck yourself. Either come here yeah. or go to bed, but I'm yeah. naked and I don't want to fuck. Mm. And he was like, I'll be there in 20. Yeah. 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 So, but here's the thing. So By the way, good. I'm so glad you like, he was like, come see me. No, nah, bitch. I hit that. you up. Yeah. I'm the damn princess. You come see me. I'm, I'm like, making this as easy as possible for right? you. Yeah. Is Just, there pussy at your house? I yeah. didn't think so. No. Yeah, if a guy says come to me, I'm like, are you insane? Unless your house is like a mansion on the beach and I get to live there. That's yeah. the only way I'm yeah. coming, okay? So, but here's the thing. This dude comes to my place. Mm -hmm. He comes inside. And then he starts like talking. Like he wants to hang out. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't like, want to no. hang. Like no. you're here to fuck and leave. You I'm know made, what I mean? I yeah. made this easy for you. Exactly. Like, like yeah, like I... I put the the trail to the X that marks the spot, and you're like, well, let's go see what's behind this coconut tree over here. Thank you. No. False. No. no. Don't if need a, to do that. If a girl's hitting you up at 2 a.m. and saying, I want to fuck you, just so you guys know, just your job, walk in, in the house it. and fucking push that bitch up against the wall yes. and start yes. throwing down, okay? when are you ever going to get that opportunity again? Right? Thank Take you. Advantage. And we'd only fucked the one time, but so he comes in, he starts talking and stuff. And then finally he like gets around to it. He starts like making moves. I'm naked, by the way, just naked, like waiting. I'm the whole like, Dude, time? Let's go. Basically, yeah. Damn. I, mean, I had a robe on when I let him in and then uh, I the the took it off and got in bed. The yeah. robe is the best because it's just one pole and That's it's gone. It, right? Exactly. So finally he starts getting around to it. And then here's what happens. This motherfucker mm -hmm. literally fucks me for less than two minutes and comes. Oh, the buildup. Uh-oh. I mean, we had the... No, it was like he just did it on purpose because it was like he came to get off. Like, yeah. And then he started saying, I got an early morning, da-da-da. I go, oh, no, bitch. No. I didn't invite you here to nah, come and leave. Uh, uh, you're uh, getting uh, me off. I go, so you're waiting 15 minutes and fucking me again or yeah. you're never coming back, right? Yeah. He's like, don't be like that, man. I'll come back in a couple of days. I'm in town for blah, 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 whatever, right? No. Uh, uh, no, this, no, I didn't. I'm not going to booty call you in a couple of days. I was so mad. I've yeah. never been. I was like, all right, listen, bro. Get your shit and get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Don't text me again. Yeah. And he was like, are you serious? I'm like, what do you think? This is a charity? You think this is like, I just fuck guys like, hey, come over and let me. Why don't you just come over and come in me and then yeah. take off and, and I'll yeah. just be and you frustrated. Didn't, you didn't text him at 2 a.m. because you're like, you know what? I was thinking about you at 2 a.m. <laughs> and your needs. Right. Wanted to know if you have gotten off recently. So, you know what? I'm going to throw you a solid. No, that's not what you did. What the fuck is that? No. Yeah. So, and by the way, the first time, I mean, the guy made me come like 40 times. I thought he was going to be an animal, you know? <sighs> So anyway, he leaves, mm -hmm. and then of you course left I don't a bad see Yelp him. I mean, shit. <laughs> if there was Yelp for that, I would. I really would. It really needs to be. I didn't see him again. Mm -hmm. He texted me. I was like, "Fuck this guy. Not yeah. coming back," you know. Mm -hmm. But I bumped into him yesterday. Mm -hmm. Bumped into him. He's like, "Yo, we gotta hang. What's up this weekend?" And I was like, 
uh, have you learned to last longer than 45 seconds in bed? Because <laughs> yeah. you're never coming back to I'm mass. sorry, what's that, what was that, two pump chump? Yeah, mm-hmm. I couldn't believe it. So the reason I'm telling this story is if you're a dude mm-hmm. and you get booty calling, yeah. your job, if you if the girl is good at coming, you better make her come at least five times. Yeah. Five time yeah. minimum. Yeah, bring the hammer. Right? The, like, that, that's why you're hitting him up yeah. for that specific reason. And just so you guys know, guys that are good in bed are kind of rare, I think. Mm-hmm. So if you are, the girl will keep hitting you up. We yeah. get hooked on good. We get hooked on it. Yeah. yeah. Well, guys. especially someone who is willing to be like 2 a.m. you up. Like that's the girl you want. You don't want the girl that's like, hey, do you want to have breakfast and pay for an $80 drink and then yes. maybe come home with me or maybe not. I might not be feeling it. This guy is young and not that smart. So I thought he was just like a perfect like when he's in town, hit him up and he's so mm-hmm. hot and whatever. But pff. So that's done. I can't do that again. Nope. But then, mm-hmm. this but is then. such, I'm such a whore for doing this. I never do Whatever. this. The next night, yeah. I'm still horny. Mm-hmm. Okay? okay. So I'm like, I gotta fuck. So-. Like, it's worse now. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Because I need to got, touch all the people. Because you gotta tease. Yeah. It's like yeah. breaking the seal. Yeah. Now mm-hmm. I gotta pee all night, right? <laughs> yeah. So the next night, I go to the bar where this guy I used to date, who you know, okay. works. Okay. And. We still on occasion might fuck every, like once a year, whatever, okay. since mm-hmm. we quit hanging. I go to the bar I know he works at just to flirt with him because mm-hmm. I'm dying to hook up and it works. And he comes home with me. Oh my God. I have not, this motherfucker fucked me for like six hours. Yes. Laid some pipe. Sting. I couldn't walk. The, I seriously was so sore. I couldn't even fuck for like a week. Yes. I mean, everything was sore. It was amazing. And this guy, he made it all about me, like Mm -hmm. to the point where ever since then, he's the only guy I can even think about when I masturbate. And the reason I'm telling this is fucking do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, and I have no feelings for him now. He even stayed the night. He cuddled me. He left in the morning. I felt nothing. Nothing. So proud yes. of you, Chase. I'm so proud of me, too. And I used to love this guy. This is like a this, yeah. th- this is like a breakthrough for you. Right? Because I know who you're talking about, and I know that you would constantly be kind of going back and forth and be like, oh, he's horrible for me. He's, he's wrong. He's not good. And then two weeks later, he's not that bad. I know. You know? And then you'd be going for him again. So I'm, ver- Thank I'm you. very proud of you. Something happened where we became friends. You know what it is? I think it's just like... I'm starting, I'm reading a lot of psychology books and I'm mm-hmm. starting to understand Dangerous. people's psych and I kind of go, I get him and I get why we can't be together. So logically my brain gets it, but the sex good. is so good and we've somehow managed to become like friends-ish. Yeah. But no, we but can see, fuck. and that's fantastic because Lord knows, uh, before I got married, I had girls that were kind of like the regulars and it's like, no, that I cannot date you. In in my head, I know I cannot date right. you. This is not going to go well. Right. I don't even like hanging out with you that much when sex isn't even involved. But like, it, so it 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 was able to keep completely separate. And then as soon as the girl starts having feelings, you're like, no, 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 can't. Yeah. Sorry. No. Yeah. So that's that's healthy. That's I know, yeah. right? And it doesn't make you a whore. You know what it makes you? It makes you the right kind of sexual person. Because you don't want the person that's like. Well, we had sex and it was so good and I'm just going to keep calling you and you have to keep giving it to me. Yeah, like, you're right. You know, like it's good. You're like in control. Yeah. Do it. That's Get what it, it is. I feel in control. Like I feel, and I'm not usually like that. So it's a good feeling. And you know? especially coming off the, what had just happened where you thought you were in control and then this guy thought it was all about him and that's. that's exactly. Yes. So things are good. I feel good. good about everything. You um, should feel good about everything. I wanted to pull up one more question. Okay, oh, fire wait. away. Here's one. I just literally got this. Can Brad come to my birthday party? I don't really think that's the kind of date. Bill's no, question. that's not the kind of dwarf I am either. <laughs> although, about- although uh, someone did just hit me up to say, hey, I, 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 I want you to do stand up at a, at a dinner. And I was like, uh, no. And he goes, come on, I really, really want you. And he said, like, how much would it take? And then I threw out a number that was so astronomically high. And he went for it. And he went for it. Dude. So now I'm like, oh, all right. I've done that a few times. I guess I got to show up then. You got to do it. I guess I got to do it. Why not? Jim Jeffries, do- Jim told me he performed a couple dinner parties. Why not do it? Yeah. Of course, no. his dinner parties are like Brad Pitt and the president. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're there. So this is like the guy that's spending his life savings, but whatever. <laughs> it's so funny. I was trying to think if I have any more terrible date fails. I've had Brad on before to tell him, have you ever had an awful, horrific date? Like just the worst date story or sex story you can think of? Yes. Tell it. So um, I don't remember how I met this guy. I think I met him on a bus. 
Uh, well, that, <laughs> problem that's number start. one. <laughs> no one's like the love of my life. I met him on a bus. Um, yeah, no, no. But he was nerdy and weird, and I kind of like him weird. Mm. And he was um, next to the chair that had all the gum stuck under it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, and so, so my my thing, my mo- one thing my mom always taught me. Thanks, mama. Is that if a guy respects you enough to give you attention, you should respect him enough to give him attention back. Hmm. So if that's he, sort of like a trial run. Give him it's, a chance. It's an awful idea. Not everybody <laughs> deserves your attention. They are not owed anything, mom. But so he asked for my number and I'm like, cool. And honest to God, I don't remember his name. But the first text I get from him, because I didn't expect him to actually text me. I met him on a bus. And he goes, hey, is this Chen Li? This is a tux- tuxedo mask. And I'm like, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's messaging me. And he's like, hey, do you want to hang out? And I'm like, you know what? I'm in a really weird place right now. Yes, I do want to hang out. By the way, out. I'm just I'm already mad at him. Now, are you using code names or did he actually say Chun Li and Tuxedo Mask? He literally said it. He mixed Street Fighter and Sailor Moon? Yeah. Those worlds cannot collide. I don't, <laughs> I'm confused. Why did you give him your number if you didn't want him to text you? I don't know, because I didn't expect him to actually text me because my dating life is people come up to me, they pretend they're interested, and then they never call me. That's weird. Yeah, but so so he goes, okay, I go, okay, cool. Like, let's name a day, let's name a time, you know, and it'll be fine. So we decide to meet up at this mall for coffee. And I'm like, cool, that's really easy, big public place. If he ends up being a serial killer, he'll have to kill me in public. Yeah. And then at least like it'll that. be a bloody battle. It'll be great. Yeah. Um. And so like the couple days leading up, you know, I'm at the gym, whatever, and I get a text from him and he was like, hey, I'm excited for our date. I'm like, hey, me too. And he goes, um, look at these cute Mickey Mouse cupcakes I made with my sister. They're as pretty as you are. And I'm like, Mickey Mouse cupcakes? Ugh. I'm as pretty as a homemade Mickey Mouse cupcake. Also, who bakes cupcakes with their sister as a grown-up? <laughs> That's Red right? flag number 85. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> and, unless you guys own a bakery together, unless you're going on Cupcake Wars the next day. No, why? Oh, why? No, oh, no. no need to do it that. It gets better. Oh, God. So we decide the place to go, and I'm on my way there, and I'm like, hey, are we still, are we still going? And he goes yeah you know i'm at my job and i'm like cool he's got a job you know <laughs> um we'll see what happens i gotta see if i have enough money to get, take the bus over there and i'm like oh no he said that yeah oh god oh, and, then, and, and then you were just like goosh i'm ready to go <laughs> Oh, and, keep talking sexy to me. And so I'm like, whatever, I'll get be there. Get that money to ride that bus. You what, get that money. Whatever, I'll be there at this time. He's like, well, I got to take like three buses to get there. And I'm like, no, if you're working at this place, you take one bus. And it's just one place. It's like a 20-minute bus you're ride. nice. And he's like, he's I'm like block no, this number I got to. Right oh, oh, it gets better. And so we, so I'm there, and I'm at the mall, and he ends up being like half an hour late to the date. Oh. And I'm sitting there, I'm drinking my coffee, and I see him, and he goes, hey, Chen Li. And I'm like, hey, you. <laughs> and so we so we get up, we decide to walk around the mall. He doesn't even buy himself coffee. Like, we don't sit and drink coffee. Of course not. He could barely afford a yeah. $1.50 bus fare. Yeah, like, <laughs> so, yeah well, that's when the Starbucks lady is like, uh, do you want whipped cream? Addie's like, is it extra? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. It's a 15 cents extra because I really can't cover no. that right yeah. there. Yeah. So we walk around the mall and he's just stream <laughs> of consciousness talking the entire time. Just will not stop. Doesn't ask me a single question about himself. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, there has to be a redeeming quality. This can't just be an awful story. And so we walk by a movie theater. I'm like, oh, do you see any movies? He goes, yeah, I love movies. I'm like, oh, what's your favorite movie? And he goes, oh, it was Thor. And I'm like, okay, here's here's where he can here's where he can get me. And I'm like, what do you love about like why why does that your favorite movie what did you love about the movie and he goes oh you know it was just like more i'm thor and loki i am your brother and it was great and i was just like you can't even describe why you like a movie and i was like that's it i'm out checked out and so we get to one point and i'm like hey this has been fun my car is actually on the other side i'm gonna go right and so I get on the escalator and I'm leaving. I'm like, he didn't even offer to walk me in my car. What a dick. And so I'm sitting in my car and I'm bitching to my friend about how awful this date was. Meanwhile, we were on the date for half an hour. It felt like two. It was so bad. It was so bad because he would not stop talking. And then I get a text. I get a, I get a text from him that was like, hey, I just want to make sure that you don't think I'm not into you or whatever. Like, I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying to like ghost you or anything. You know, like I did like you a lot. And like, I know I didn't like it. We ended kind of weird. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. 
I liked think, you a lot. He met you on a bus for like five minutes. Yeah. How did he like you? You didn't stop talking for half an hour, and you think that you made me feel unwanted? Like you, like when I just leave you, like like out of the blue, goodbye. I'm not coming back. You think that you're the one dumping me? Oh, like, God. what are you doing? And so he calls me when I don't answer his text, and was like, "Yeah, blah blah." Like, well, I want to see you again, and I'm like, "No." guy <laughs> i love that you never knew his name the entire no, time have to. i'm like you know wow. this isn't gonna work out he's like well can we can we be friends and i was like no <laughs> we can't be and he's friends like, you know what that's how stalker situations start right i'm dead serious i went on a date exactly like that with a guy that i this was Met also on a bus. stupid yeah similar i was <laughs> sitting outside of a restaurant and the guy saw me he was in a car driving by and he saw me on like the patio and he stopped his car and got out i was like i'm not driving away until give me your number you're so beautiful blah 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 this was years ago so i gave him my number just to get rid of him mm -hmm. he wouldn't leave your actual number to get rid of him yeah because he was parked in like a red zone he's like my yeah. car will get towed but i'm not leaving you're like, Great. You're amazing yeah so i gave him my number <laughs> we went out one time very similar i knew right away it was bad mm. half hour date whatever he walks me in my car i hug him i leave and then he's texting me texting me texting me and finally i was like look buddy i'm just not really feeling it you know mm -hmm. but we can be friends you just throw that out to be nice yeah. you know this guy kept texting me to hang out and every time i'd say no he'd be like is this how you treat your friends i thought you want to be friends you fucking bitch or you're not a good friend at all is this he was so psycho then he got like a bot where he kept calling and calling and calling and calling my Jesus. phone yeah i tried to get a restraining order on this guy he was a legit stalker he would send packages to my apartment i don't know how he got my address what? i don't know wow. but here's the crazy part i call the police right i'm like hey this guy is for sure going to kill me. Mm -hmm. I need a restraining order. I don't know what to do. And you know what the cops said? What's that? They like, said, there's nothing we can do unless he physically assaults you or yeah. breaks into your property until someone actually like shows up. So they can threaten to kill you yeah. all day. But sure. it's not illegal till they like put the plan in action. Right. So I tried to get a restraining order and they're really expensive. And I didn't know the guy's last name or anything about him. He had all my info. All I knew his name was like Milo or something, right? Jesus. But get this. Mm -hmm. I, I block him, all this shit. Years later, like three mm -hmm. years later, mm -hmm. I get a phone call one day. No. And I don't know the number, mm -hmm. but I picked it up because, you know, audition, whatever, who knows. Why not? So I picked it up. It was him. <gasps> and he was like, hey, uh, I just wanted to say, you probably don't remember me. But years ago, I kind of harassed you. It's like, don't I fucking remember you, yeah, dude. Yeah. I was scared kinda. to death of you. Yeah, yeah it's like I, yeah. I, I have your picture above my door saying, yeah. like, do not let this man in your apartment. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, I just wanted to say I went to therapy and I'm working through my issues and I'm trying to make amends. Maybe he was addict, you know? Yeah. I'm trying to make say. amends. I just want to say I'm really sorry for what I put you through and everything. And I hope you, you know, you're good. And I was like, you know what? No problem. I get mm. it. Thanks for calling. I tried to be cool just because, you know, I was scared sure. of him. And then he goes, so I was just wondering if maybe we could start over. Uh, no. 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 Yeah. We just St ended. Yeah. I was like, dude, no. we're not. No. Uh, mm -hmm. And if you ever call. I told him, actually, you know what I really told him? I said, that's really sweet. But since then, I've gotten married. I just lied and said <laughs> I was married. <laughs> Anyway, that's great. Oh God, no, just, psychos. Just throw, out, just throw out the married bomb. You got every, to every, every, yeah. every now and then. Have that ring that you could take to bars. Yeah, I do. It yeah. doesn't really help though. It usually get hit no. on more. Jesus. Oh my God. Yeah, I've had guys grab me by my throat. Oh, hot. after after Give talking. Give my number. Of, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. You know what? Unfortunately, it's mm -hmm. uh, it's three thirty. Oh damn. Uh, for the listeners at home, and mm -hmm. I have another podcast coming in, so we got to wrap it up, dude. Boop, boop. Brad, what do you got coming up? Uh, coming up, well, you can always uh, listen to my podcast, the About Last Night podcast. You can go to my webpage, bradwilliamscomedy.com. Follow me on Twitter at FunnyBrad or on Instagram at BradWilliamsComic. We got dates coming up in New York, uh, April, and uh, where the hell else am You're I? there when I'm there. Yes. Right? Uh, I'm at Gotham. Where are you playing Gotham? What yeah. are the, the weekend, right? Yeah. So I think it's like fifth or the seventh or something like that mm -hmm. just, yeah, just, just go to right. Brad, just, just go to bradwilliamscomedy.com you'll find all my dates if i'm not in your city wait four months i'll be there i yeah. tour like a goddamn madman you really do you're yeah. never here so that's yeah. why i'm happy i saw you <laughs> uh guys if you are listening to this come out and see me i am at caroline's in new york city on wednesday night and mm -hmm. then i am at the Stress Factory in Jersey on the weekend, great April club. 5th through the 7th. Yeah, I'm excited. Great and then I'm club. doing Helium on Sunday, Philly. Awesome. On the 8th. Another great club. I'm all over. I'm all over! So, yeah. guys, make sure you get tickets. Uh, if you would like, I'm going to give out some free tickets to uh, 
Caroline's. Maybe I'll give out 10. So DM me if you want a free ticket to Caroline's in New York City. I'll hook exactly. you up. And uh, check out my Patreon at Kate Q Funny. Do you have a Patreon, Brad? I don't. I need to, people just to pay me for me to do random things for them. <laughs> like, you, you don't know, need it. I have Patreon because I'm poor. I'll do a video. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'll take a picture of my wife's feet. Oh, that's mm-hmm. good. No, no, you won't. Don't Google me either. My name is Brittany. <laughs> yeah, no shit. They're going to know now. All right, guys, this has been Date Fails. I love you. Thanks for listening. And make sure you uh, subscribe on Spotify to my podcast and Brad's. Bye. Yay. That was.